Hi, my name is Kirtland DeVille. I'm an assistant professor of radiation oncology at Johns Hopkins Medicine at Sibley Memorial Hospital. I'm a practicing radiation oncologist, board certified, um, with specialty and expertise in genitourinary cancers like prostate cancer and also soft tissue sarcomas, which are cancers of the soft tissues of the body. The beauty actually of the multidisciplinary clinic is that the patient um, is able to come in for a single visit essentially and see all of the specialists who would be involved in their prostate cancer care. So they would see the urologist, the medical oncologist, the radiation oncologist, um, a nurse coordinator um, as well who's also going to be navigating them through the system. They get to hear about all of the treatments that may potentially be an option for them. Their case will be reviewed extensively and discussed um, in a consensus conference that includes uh, radiologists and pathologists with expertise in prostate cancer. Um, and then we'll have a discussion about what are probably the best treatment options available to them at this time. And then we'll meet back with the patient um, and summarize all of the discussion that we had and be able to come up with you know, very specific concrete things that we think will be helpful to them um, in their treatment paradigm. And so this is a very unique opportunity. The patient doesn't have to set up you know, two, three, four, five different visits and try to pull it together themselves. This is really us trying to pull all of that information at a one visit for the patient and communicate that effectively. My personal philosophy for patient care is really being a patient advocate, uh, bringing information uh, to patients I think is the most important thing we can do uh, in terms of providing our service, making sure they're well educated, well informed, really understanding the complex treatments um, that we have to offer, and also working within the bounds and the confines of what they want, what are their goals, what are their needs, and making sure that we're meeting them, not ignoring them, completely understanding them. I'm so appreciative of being able to do the work that I do. I feel such a connection and motivation um, being able to come into work and actually provide service to patients, connect with people, um, and help them through some of the most difficult and challenging times in their lives. Um, it really is a privilege to be able to participate in that and try to get the best outcome no matter what that may be for each individual.